I was out cold, peacefully sleeping, when suddenly my phone started blowing up like crazy. It was buzzing with messages, social media notifications, everything. I groggily reached for it, thinking, who's texting me at this hour? But when I saw what was going viral, my heart dropped. It was that photo, just one picture of a guy and a girl kissing like there was no tomorrow. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. I couldn't stop the tears. Why did this stupid photo affect me so much? To find out, stick around, tune in to Out of a Book, and trust me, you don't want to miss this drama. Oh, and while you're at it, subscribe and hit that like button. But let's back up a little bit. I'm Chloe, and yeah, you could say I'm a little bit of a glam queen. Private schools, designer clothes, the whole millennial daughter of rich parents package. Except here's the twist. I was the new girl. I just moved from one private school to another, and today, yeah, it was my first day at this new school. Walking into school, I was surrounded by new faces and felt totally alone at first. But let's be real, it didn't take long for me to join the elite crowd. My designer clothes pretty much sealed the deal. Can you keep a secret? Okay then, I'm not just a label-loving queen. Deep down, I've got a soft heart. But showing it to teenage vultures? <laughs> no way! Labels like nice girl don't come with many niceties, if you know what I mean. So I did what I had to do. Played it cool, acted like a total girl boss, just to make sure I fit in with the it crowd. But that's when I realized there was a clear queen bee running the show. Ava. Picture this. She walks through the halls like she owns the place, chin up, nose in the air with an attitude that screams, I want everything and I'm gonna get it. She's the kind of girl who can throw a smile your way while secretly plotting how to ruin your life. <laughs> oh. And she's never alone. She's got her two sidekicks, Lily and Zoe, more like her personal pawns than actual friends. They're glued to her side, nodding along to every word she says like her little puppets. Ava snaps her fingers and they follow. No questions asked. Then there's also Ethan, the guy every girl wants but no one can quite get, and a bunch of other rich lost brats and bros who fly around Ava's sphere orbiting around her like she's the center of the universe. I was totally lost in that group, running circles around Ava just to survive. And that's when Ethan became my escape. We started hanging out by chance and I discovered he was the only normal one. We'd <laughs> laugh at how Lily and Zoe followed Ava like lost puppies. Do you think they get paid for this sad act? I'd crack up every time. It became our little game, making fun of all the ridiculous things they did to stay in Ava's good book. Spending time with Ethan made the whole crazy scene a lot more fun. At first, everything was perfect. Ethan liked me, I liked him. It was like everything was falling into place. But then things started to get weird. It began small. I'd be walking with Ethan and out of the corner of my eye, I'd see shadows. Just a flicker like someone was there. I'd turn around, but there was no one. I kept telling myself it was nothing. Maybe I'm just tired or stressed. But that uneasy feeling kept growing like someone was always watching me. Then things got worse. One night after a late movie, we were walking home together and I saw this figure standing across the street just staring at me. He was too far away to make out any details, but I knew he was looking right at me. I grabbed Ethan, heart pounding, but by the time Ethan turned to look, the guy was gone. Chloe, there's no one there. Relax. He could laugh it off like it was nothing, but I couldn't shake it. It wasn't just a random skittering shadow anymore. It felt dangerous. Too real. Then, a few days later, we were at a cafe and I saw him again. This time, the figure was closer. He was standing right across the street wearing a hood and an eerie blank mask. My breath caught in my throat and I stared, frozen. But when I blinked, he was gone again. Ethan noticed I was acting off and gave me this look like I was losing it. Maybe I was. Chloe, what's going on? You've been acting weird lately. I tried to brush it off, but every time I felt like I was being watched, it got more intense. The shadows, the figure, it was like they were getting closer each time. Then came the breaking point. One evening we were walking back to my house and I saw him again, but this time he wasn't just standing there. He was right by a car, close enough that I could almost see his eyes through the mask. My blood went cold as ice. Ethan, look, he's right there! I jabbed a finger toward the figure in panic, but Ethan just looked at me, confused. He stared hard, eyes searching where I had indicated, but he seemed to see nothing. Chloe, 
There's no one there. He was clearly done with my paranoia. I could feel him pulling away and building frustration. I don't get it. You're fine at school, but outside, it's like you don't want to just chill with me anymore. You're seeing things. I feel like you're trying to push me away, or maybe you want to break up and this is your guilt-free way of doing it? I shook my head, trying to explain. No, Ethan, I see something, or someone. Uh, you really don't see it? Ethan wasn't having it. He stepped back, his voice cold. I think we should take a break. I just can't deal with hallucinations from my girlfriend right now. And just like that, he was gone into the night, walking away, leaving me standing there with my heart pounding loudly and that figure still lurking in the back of my mind. I was alone. The next morning, my phone wouldn't stop blowing up. Texts, notifications, everything. I felt sick as I grabbed it. And then I saw the image, Ava and Ethan kissing. My mind went blank. Was it really that easy for Ethan to move on? I couldn't believe it. We had just broken up and now he's with Ava. It felt like a punch to the gut. Everything between us, was it all fake? Then when I got to school, it got worse. Everyone was staring, whispering, and then the comments started. Wow, Chloe, guess you were just a rebound. Ethan's always had a thing for Ava. That hit hard. I had no idea Ava and Ethan had ever been together. Suddenly, it felt like the whole school knew something I didn't. I was left standing there completely blindsided. I was still trying to wrap my head around everything when Ethan showed up looking all desperate. Chloe, it it's all a big misunderstanding. I didn't kiss Ava, I swear. Everything just happened so fast. Yesterday, she saw me and asked about you. I told her how you started acting weird, and then she jumped me. Her lips hit me hard in the mouth, and I swear it was just for a split second. I pulled away, but someone was clearly watching and snapped a photo. Now, it's everywhere. His words blurred together. I couldn't even process it. My heart was already shattered, and now I was hearing that he'd confided in Ava, of all people, about me, about my breakdown. It felt like a whole new betrayal. I stared at him too hurt to care anymore. You know what? Screw you, Ethan. And with that, I walked away, head held high to hide little Chloe crying her eyes out inside. Truthfully, I had barely registered a word Ethan said after I told her about how you... I was just walking blindly. My mind was spinning and colliding with my emotions. But then I saw it again. That shadow, that same hooded figure that had been following me whenever I was with Ethan. My heart raced and without thinking about poor judgment, I took off after it. I don't know exactly why I did it. Hurt from Ethan? Confusion? It was likely the unrelenting frustration of feeling like I was being hunted. I chased the shadow through the school grounds, weaving through halls, dodging people. It felt like a twisted, fast-paced game of hide-and-seek. Every time I got close, they slipped away, just out of reach. I was out of breath, exhausted, but I wasn't giving up. Not this time. I turned a sharp corner and there he was. My heart pounded as I slowly approached the hooded figure, pulling back the hood with shaking hands. When I saw who it was, my jaw nearly hit the floor. It wasn't some creepy stalker. It was Lily, Ava's little sidekick. I stood there, breathless, staring at Lily, Ava's devoted little minion. Why are you doing this? Why were you trying to scare me? Lily looked terrified, but finally broke. Ava told me to. She's still in love with Ethan. She couldn't stand seeing you two together. She wanted you to look crazy, so he dump you. I froze as Lily pulled out her phone, showing me the text. Ava had planned the whole thing. Every creepy moment, every shadow, it was all to make me seem insane. I wasn't. And when Ethan told Ava I was acting weird, she seized her chance, kissing him to make it look like he'd moved on. That particular truth was priceless. Just as Lily confessed everything, I heard footsteps. I turned and saw Ethan. He had followed me and heard it all. Ava's twisted plan, Lily's involvement, his face said it all. After everything came out, Ethan just stood there silent for a moment before turning to me. I'm so sorry, Chloe. But before I could even respond, he rushed off, heading straight for Ava. The whole school was watching as he stormed up to her in the middle of the courtyard. The deafening silence was deadly. You used me, Ava. You twisted everything, manipulated everyone just to hurt Chloe. I trusted you once, but now I can't even look at you. You disgust me. Words hung in the air, cutting deep. Ava's face paled as Ethan stomped away, leaving her standing there in front of everyone, completely exposed. I watched it all unfold, feeling a strange sense of relief. For once, it wasn't me standing there humiliated. 
I'd been shaken, sure, but I wasn't going to crumble. And strangely, I discovered I didn't need Ethan to make things right. The truth is empowering in and of itself. I didn't need to chase shadows anymore. I had the truth, and for the first time in a long time, I felt like I had control.